I'm Miriam Williamson, and when I was growing up, America had a vibrant middle class. The average American worker had decent benefits, could afford a home, could afford a car, could afford a yearly vacation, could afford for one member of the couple to stay home if they wished, and could afford to send their kids to college. But over the last 50 years, there's been a massive transfer of wealth to the tune of $50 trillion from the bottom 90% of Americans to the top 1%, decimating America's middle class. We all owe President Biden a debt of gratitude for defeating President Trump in 2020. But with the things that they're going to be throwing at us in 2024, we need to submit to the American people an agenda of fundamental economic reform, universal health care, tuition-free colleges at state colleges and universities, higher education, including tech schools, paternity and maternity leave, free child care, and a guaranteed living wage. These are things that are considered moderate positions in every other advanced democracy. But in the United States, people have been trained to expect too little. The American people have been played. What the Democratic Party should do is to truly return to the principles of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Not just alleviate people's suffering, but offer them genuine economic reform. Not just help people survive in an unjust system. The Democratic Party should end an unjust system. Washington, D.C., with a few brave exceptions, is filled with two major categories of leaders, those who don't even care about all the suffering that's going on out there and those who do not have the moral courage to fix it. Let me in there. I will. I'm Marianne Williamson, and I approve this message.